Hi again, it's Kristen Barrett Anderson coming to you from the St. Mary Ann Cope Shrine and Museum. I want to share a little bit of our exhibits uh, while it's difficult to get out and come and visit us in person. Hopefully someday you will come back and we will see new people here in our beautiful, beautiful, peaceful setup here. I was reminded the other day when talking to someone with children that they're developing crafts and thinking of things that they can do and, and looking for different ways to spend their time and use their creativity and also of the people who are sewing masks and taking their time and switching out what they might do on a regular day to be making things and sewing things for other people and for our nurses and staff who are on the front line. This exhibit is based on what a room might look like in Kalapapa while the sisters were there, while our Marianne was there, caring for the thousands of patients coming through with leprosy and now known as Hansen's disease and people dying every single day, but you know, how we talk a lot about how they can fill their lives and how the sisters spent so much time and effort giving each child and person as full a life as possible, no matter how short or afflicted they were, they deserved everything. And craft was one of those things. And these actually, I don't know if you can see them, these are templates of lace making that Marianne made for the patients and for the other sisters to teach how to make lace. And through Sister Leopoldina Burns' journals, which uh, we have many, many of, she kept a record every single day during the days that they were on Kalapapa. And there are so many stories that have to do with the crafts and the planting and the lace making and sewing and everything that they were doing. I wanna share with you a story from Sister Leopoldina's journals. It is just uh, one of my favorites. It's so uplifting and it, and it really is heartwarming and gives us a, some insight into Marianne. So it is featured right here. It's called A Small Japanese Flower. From Sister Leopoldina's journals, Sister Leopoldina says that one evening she was especially tired after working in the sore dressing room all day. When I went to my room, how surprised I was to be met by the cool, fresh air filled with the sweetest perfume and the little room seemed to be changed to a paradise. How can this be, I thought. There is no one allowed to open the door of the sister's cell and I have no perfume. It must be the angels. I will keep my secret and so I did. But every evening about the same time at twilight, the room was delightfully perfumed. This is a mystery. I can keep it no longer. Mother surely knows something about it. And I went seriously to mother and told her my secret. The angels are visiting my room every evening at twilight. I can always see her dear face so full of laughter. Even her wonderful eyes were smiling. Come, she said, I will show you the angels that visit your room. She had planted a little Japanese flower under my window. It was a little thing, not more than a foot from the ground, but it was full of those sweet little cups. Only in the evening they open and send out their sweet perfume. Why, mother, I did not know it was there. How lovely of you to do it. She only laughed and said, it is your angel. So I hope that that brings you a little heartfelt, heartwarming, little piece, wonderful small thing that she was able to do for a sister that was so dear to her. So that's it for today. Hope to see you all soon. Please take care, stay healthy.